What's up guys, my name is John and welcome to another Tech Talk. Today on Tech Talk, we are talking about iCloud photos and how to back them up from the cloud to a PC using your web browser. So let's get started. So if you're like me and you take a lot of photos with your iPhone, you might be using iCloud Photo Library to back up your photos from your phone to the cloud. And what that does is it stores your photos and your videos, the full resolution versions of them in iCloud, and then it removes those full resolution versions from your phone to free up space to take other photos and videos. And it just leaves placeholder thumbnails and lower resolution versions of those on your phone. And then if you wanna view those photos when you click on them in the camera roll, it will download the full resolution version so that you can view them or edit them or do whatever you want with them. The problem I have is that I have over 17,000 videos and photos in my camera roll from the last three years or so. And those are all up in the cloud, not on my phone, but those thumbnails and lower resolution versions that they keep on the phone do take up space. And so my phone is constantly full and when I try to record a video it's always cutting off saying that your phone is full because I also have a lot of apps on my phone so I want to clean out all those photos from my iCloud and put them on a hard drive back them up on hard drives and get them off of my phone. I've tried to do this many times over the past few years and I've never found a good solution to be able to get those photos from iCloud onto a PC and to be able to back up the full resolution versions of those videos. Because as I'll, as I'll show you in a minute, when you log into iCloud on a web browser, you can view all your photos and videos right there and you can download them. But when you click the download button, you click on a photo and you click the download button, the version that downloads is not the full resolution version. It's a lower res, like a three megapixel photo instead of the full 12 megapixel photo that you took or it's a 720p video instead of the 1080p or even 4K video that you took. Until a couple weeks ago, I've never been able to figure out how to get the full resolution versions of my photos and videos downloaded through the iCloud interface in a web browser. But I finally did figure it out a couple weeks ago, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today. I've searched YouTube even this morning, trying to see if there's any other videos out there showing how to do this, and every video that you search for backing up your iCloud photos to a PC, all involve downloading third-party software to sync to your iCloud, to download them to your PC. It's cumbersome, it's complicated, and it's a pain. And it's what I've been trying to do over the last couple of years. I've been doing cumbersome, complicated ways to get them downloaded. Because the problem is you can't just download the photo off of your phone because the full resolution versions are up in the cloud. So how do you get them out of the cloud? Well, let me show you. We're gonna to go to my PC here and I'm gonna show you my screen and show you exactly how you can get those photos out of iCloud easily and onto your computer and backed up onto hard drives. So the first thing you do, open up your web browser and you go to www.icloud.com. Okay, icloud.com loads up. Right here you have your photos app and obviously you'll need to log in with your Apple ID, but once you get in, you have your calendar and photos and your iCloud drive and notes and all this useful stuff. It's, it's, if you haven't discovered this, it's very useful. A lot of useful stuff here to be able to access on your PC. Find iPhone, find friends. So, go into photos. I've set up a test album here in my I, iCloud photo library that have a few pictures. That's a lovely picture of me right there, let me tell you. Um, a few pictures and a video. It's just for uh, testing purposes. It's a short video clip so that we can just quickly see what's going on here. So problem number one has always been you click on a photo or a video and you go up here to the download button and you see download selected item. You click the download button and then it's going to download this iCloudPhotos.zip. Now you may be thinking to yourself, I'm downloading an image. So shouldn't it be like a JPEG or a HEIC image file? Why is it a zip file? Well, the reason it's a zip file is because that photo is a live photo. I took that photo with the live photo option enabled, so it has the JPEG image along with a three second video clip that was recorded while I took that photo. So the zip file is gonna contain both those files. So let's go ahead and save the file, and then we're gonna open up the folder where it put them. So here's our zip file, and now I'm going to extract this right here, and it's gonna extract an iCloud Photos folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this zip file because we don't need that anymore. Go into the iCloud Photos folder. So here we go, we got a JPEG, all right. It's only 
1.1 megabytes. Let's look at what this resolution of this JPEG is. It is 2048 by 1536. Now you may, for those of you good at math, you might be able to tell right away that 2048 times 1536 is 3.1, 3, 3 3.1 million pixels. Okay, so that's 3.1 megapixel. That's how you determine megapixels of an image. You take the width times the height, however many million pixels it is, that's how many megapixels. So this is a 3.1 megapixel image. The original image that I took on the phone is a 12 megapixel image. Okay, it would be a lot bigger than this, four times as big as this to be exact. So already that's a lower resolution. This video clip, we'll play three, it. Two, three one, second open. video clip. All right, there's a three second video clip that accompanied that photo. Let's see what its resolution is. 960 by 720, so it's a 720p video clip. The original is not a 720p video clip. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I know it's higher resolution than that. So there's the problem. When you click on that download button, it does not download the full resolution originals. And up until a couple weeks ago, I could not figure out how to get from the web browser the full resolution originals. Just for demonstration's sake real quick, let's download this video clip as well. It's a five second video clip. We're gonna download it. It's an MP4, okay? So we'll save it. So let's go back to our folder, and here's our video clip, image 7229, two megabytes. Okay, well, it's only a five-second clip, so it wouldn't be that big, right? So let's uh, see what the resolution is on this thing. It should be a 4K video, by the way. 1280 by 720, so this video clip is 720p. It is not the 4K original, not by any stretch of the imagination. So, as you can see, clicking that download button in the corner, this download button right up here in the corner does not download the full resolution images. And I have searched far and wide over the years for a way using the iCloud Photo Library web interface to be able to download the full resolution versions of my my photos and videos. Because what I do is I, I download them by month. So 2016, January, I create a folder on my computer and I put all of my photos and videos from my phone into that one folder for January 2016. Then if I'm looking for something, I know, oh, that was New Year's of 2016 probably, I can go to the January folder or December folder and look through those few hundred photos. You know, it, it reduces my photos into batches of anywhere from 300 to maybe a thousand photos in a month. I know, I take a lot of photos, that's what I do. So I couldn't figure out a way to do it until two weeks ago, finally in a forum, Somebody posted an obscure little response to somebody asking this same question after a whole bunch of other people gave complicated ways of doing it with using third-party software or using a Mac or whatever. Somebody finally posted, looky here, let me show you. So you click on this video, go up here to this download button. You may not notice because this hand is over the download button. You may not notice that there is a little arrow in the lower right of this cloud button, right there. See that little down arrow? And see when I put the mouse over it, it says more download options. So click on that. Looky here, a hidden menu, unmodified original, download. Let's download this. Look, now it's an MOV file, not an MP4. That's promising because MP4 is not the native format that your phone records in. It records in MOV files. So let's save this file and let's go see this file and see what downloaded. So here it is, image 7229.mov, 23 megabytes instead of two megabytes. It's looking better already. We'll look at the properties. Let's see what the resolution of this thing is. There we go, 3840 by 2160. It is the full 4K version of this video. So there you have it. So what happens when you download live photos? So let's try it. Let's click this live photo, click the down arrow, say unmodified original, download. Okay, it's popping up, it wants to download another zip file, that's fine. Let's save it. Let's go in here and see what we got. So let's, we're gonna download, we're gonna save this one to another folder. So here's the new folder of what it downloaded, what it extracted, look at that. HEIC, that's the high efficiency image codec that the iPhone now takes photos in. I can't view this photo on this computer because it doesn't have the right codec. See, if I try to open it, it says install additional codecs to work with this file. So, and in order to do that, I need to update my Windows to a newer version. So, I'm not going to do that right now. But 
say, now let's look at the video. Three, two, one, Already, open. that looks way crisper. Okay, look at that. Look how clear that is. Let's look at its resolution. 1440 by 1088. So it is not the 720p. It's the full resolution live photo video. All right. So pretend this is this photo test is a full month's worth of photos to download, like say January, 2016. All I would do is click on the first photo of that month, scroll down till I find the bottom photo, hold the shift key, click on the last photo. It selects all of the photos between those two that I clicked on. And then I can do the same thing. See, it shows four selected and I can click on this down arrow, say unmodified originals, download, and there we go, it's wanting to download another zip file. So let's just create a new folder here. We'll say full month. We're gonna pretend this is a full month worth of photos. I only took four photos. I'm gonna download the zip file. Now we're gonna go back into the folder. So here's our zip file, extract it. Once you extract the zip file, what you should find is three photos, three and four videos because I recorded, I downloaded one video and then four photos that all have live photos. So they all should all have a photo. So let's take a look. So there you have it. We've got the image 7229. That's that five second video clip. That's 4K, 23 megabytes. And then we've got one, two, three HEIC photos, which is the full resolution photos. And then three MOV files with the same file name of, as those photos, which is the live photo video for each of those photos. So if this was a full month worth of photos, boom, I have all my photos downloaded into the same folder, downloaded easily. No third party software necessary. Easy peasy, one, two, three, done. So I have been going through and downloading like crazy the last couple weeks, all of my iCloud photos and finally clearing up my iCloud photos. And I was at, when I started, I was at 17,000 photos in my iCloud photo library. I am now down to 5,998 photos in my iCloud photo library. I am finally getting my photos cleared out and getting my camera roll back under control so that it's not bogging down my phone all the time with all of those little thumbnails. Even though it's not keeping the full resolution versions on my phone, it's still keeping placeholders that point to those files which take up space. And 17,000 of anything is gonna take up a significant amount of space. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found it informative and I hope it made your life easier and that you're now able to clean up your photo library if you have a messy one, big, full, massive photo library like I had. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.